This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get high quality 3D models for free and also how you can partake and get 50% off that amazing model that you've always wanted to get. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at where you can get free motion capture files. Now, the free motion capture files that you'll be getting is coming from the folks at Bandai Namco and it is basically for open AI researches and I believe a whole lot of game developers and animators would also take advantage of this and create some stuff. Now, for those who are also looking for more places where they can get free motion capture files, we're going to cover a whole lot of this. So to get started, all you need to do is go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here or you can simply go directly to the GitHub that will bring you right over here where you can download the motion capture files. Now, the motion capture files you'll be getting are in two sets, which are considered as two data sets. And the very first one deals with 17 different types of motions. Then we have another one that deals with 10 different types of motions. Now, all of these motions are available for you to pick up and start working with. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is this is under a certain kind of license that allows you to use it for certain things, but not for commercial purposes and not for derivatives. So you can simply use this to create animations and, and games, but they are definitely not supposed to be for commercial. It should be more of a practice research thing since this is where they're going with it. And for you to get these motions, all you need to do is go right here and click on the drop down button where you get to find codes and click on download zip. This is the easiest way for you to get it. And once you get it downloaded, you can simply unzip the file. And once you unzip the file and open it up, you will notice that we have a folder called the Biden Namco Research Motion Dataset. And once you open up the folder and go over to the dataset, you would notice that we have the two datasets that we already saw before. So in this case, you can open up the first dataset or you can open up the second dataset. And once you open it up, you'll notice there's a folder called data and inside of the data, you would definitely find all of the BVH and JSON files. Now the BVH and JSON files are the files that you need, but because you're doing motion capture, you probably need only the biovision hierarchy file which is known as the bvh so for you to work with the bvh file is extremely easy although they did provide a very tiny add-on which you can use to work with this which is also licensed under mit but you practically don't need that if you have to work with blender or motion builder so for you to get this happening you need to simply go over to blender click on file go all the way to import and you can import your bvh so just simply click on the bvh and that should pop up and let's just simply get on with bringing that right about here. All right, so let's bring that here, go over to data, go over to data, and we can select any of these motions. I mean, you can see we have a truckload of motions in here and you can go in and just pick any of them, pick anything that you want and you can just start working with it. So right here with all of these motions here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one there's just a whole lot of motions so i'm just gonna pick one let's see which of them just anyone actually just select that and let's reduce this and click on the word import and once we import it you would notice we have all of these gigantic nodes and this by default is known as your referencing node so the referencing node is known as the joint that controls every other joint. So see that joint as the initial joint or the parent joint that controls every other joint. So for you to actually reduce this, all you need to do is have this selected, go all the way to where you have the edit mode, click and reduce that down. So we'll just reduce this all the way down and we might potentially bring this right about a point like so. Let's just bring this right over here and put that right there okay let's also put this all the way to the floor because we would like this to just be within the origin point since this is more like our origin joint so i'm just going to position this right there so once we have that going we can go ahead and switch this to obj and there you have the motion so with this motion here once you press the playback button you can see we have some pretty good stuff happening here. You can also bring in more motions. So you can go over to import, bring in more motions. In this case, I'm just going to go back and bring in some more. So we have some more like so. Do the very same thing that we've just done. Go over to edit, grab this bad boy, reduce that all the way down. And we can also bring that right about a point like so. And of course, we can go all the way back to object mode. And once we grab onto this object and move this, you would notice we have two different models now and we can just bounce this all the way back, press the playback button and you can see we have them like so. We can also bring in as much as we want. 
So the whole idea here is you can now download these motions for free and you can bring them over to any of the DCC apps that you have that supports file types like this. And I'm talking about any DCC app. And if you also have Motion Builder, you can just simply drag and drop. So let's just fire this up and let's go ahead and pick any of the files. So we're looking at BVH. So I'm just going to go all the way down. And one thing you guys will notice is some of those motions are repeated. So for some reason, you just get like the same repetition for the motion. So you can go ahead and pick one of them. So I'm just going to go in, pick this, drag that in, import if you're using Motion Builder. So we can just simply import the BVH. And you also notice that we have the BVH right here. And with the BVH, if we go ahead and press the playback button, you can see that happening. And for those who like to transfer this motion from one character to another, it's extremely simple. Characterizing this is super easy. All you need to do is make sure that you have your windows. From the windows, go all the way to where you have your asset browser. And right here within your asset browser, click on the character, click. So you can just simply click this character, drag and drop, or you can have the object selected and define your skeleton. So in this case, if you want to define your skeleton, it's super easy as we've covered this a lot on the channel. So you can double click on any point and define any point of this joint. So just simply double click, define the appropriate point. You can also do the same thing here. You can just go ahead and double click, define any of these points, and you can do that for every other joint that you have. Now that we have all of this properly characterized, you will notice that we have some orange points. The reason why you're having this orange point whenever you do your characterization is because the joint itself is not set to zero so if you have any of these orange joints whenever you're doing characterization in motion builder just know that the joints here the rotation of the joints here are not set to zero and that's why but in a situation like this we're good to go so we can just simply do that characterization go all the way to the big blue button characterize bake this to control rig fk ik and you're good and in this way you now have the option of reanimating this object however you want adding an extra layer of animation if you want and by all means, you can do the very same thing here in Blender. And for Blender artists looking at ways that they can transfer BVH to other models, probably you like to remap this, then you might want to consider looking at the AutoRig Pro. The AutoRig Pro has a lot of tools that can help you get up to speed. And there is also the animation layers. So just in case you like to layer your animation and make some changes, these animation tool sets or these animation add-ons are available. And you will definitely find links to this in the description as well. So. For those who are also thinking about getting your BVHs like this to T-Pose, probably you want to start doing your retargeting and you want to take advantage of this huge library of motion captures and do that retargeting, but you probably want to start with T-Pose. It is quite easy. All you need to do is go over to BVH Hacker. So there is actually a tool called BVH Hacker. What this tool actually helps you do is force your BVH files to become T-Poses and it can just simply happen with a click of a button. So that way, if you're doing your retargeting from one model to another, and you probably want to start up with a T-Pose, then the BVH Hacker is a tool that you might want to consider looking at. And again, it is totally for free. So this is more like it, but before we go, just in case you're also looking for more motion files, you can also get more motion capture files from here. So if you go over to CG Speed, you will find a truckload. If you think the folks at Bandai Namco does have a lot, then you should check out CG Speed. CG Speed has a whole lot. And I'm talking about lots of motion captures that would just blow you away. And you're getting motion capture files for different file format. And we're looking at BBH, we're looking at motion builder files, we're looking at DAS, we're looking at, um, you know, 3D Studio Max, BBH. We're looking at the original BVH files and of course we are also looking at the ones that were updated. So just in case you'd like to take a look at any of this, I mean you can simply go over, check all of these ones out, download them, see what you can do with them. And I guess these ones are all CC0 licenses, which means you can definitely work with these ones totally for free. And you can also take a look at these other ones that we've covered. And also check out Jorem. So uh, Jorem has a long list where you can find lots of stuff. And, you know, by all means, you can definitely go ahead and grab these ones for yourself. Something else you might also want to grab for yourself are free models. So you need models to actually play with motion capture files. And that is where Sketchfab comes in. So Sketchfab is one of the wonderful places on the Internet where you can buy, sell, preview 3D models before you even download them. And one of the cool things with Sketchfab right now 
is they're doing a 50% flash sale. And this is the big Sevach flash sale, which is happening right now. And it will be ending in a couple of hours. So all you need to do is go over to Sketchfab and download any of the premium models that you've always wanted to get for 50% off. And something else which is also pretty impressive with Sketchfab is every single week there are tons and tons of free models and this week is not short of that. So if you simply go over to Explore, go to Downloadables, you would notice like we have a truckload of free models that you can get for yourself. You can go ahead and check out all of these free models and download them. And of course, if there's any premium model that you would like to get, you can save up on that and get them for 50% right now. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.